The endless step dips below the horizon. The land is carefully wrapped by the dome of the sky. Stars are shining bright and silently. There is a figure of a lonely traveler illuminated by the soft light of the moon. White camel rocks in tune with the song of the steppe dweller. He sings about love, adventures, and maybe about something singularly beautiful. His worldview is formed by changing pictures. It has been a long time ago, and this scene from a movie but not captured on videotape. No mass used to visualize those pictures in living colors. This is how it was extant. Quite a movie, isn't it? The worldview of the nomads has been formed by the perpetual pictures beyond the horizon. And up to nowadays, Kazakh motion picture industry is still searching for its way. The fourth generation of Kazakh film directors brought new names. Directors awarded prizes at major film festivals, A-Class, San Francisco, Cannes, Turin, Paris, and Moscow. Today, the horizons are expanded to the concept of world cinema. We have stepped into cinema industry world quite steadily, including the Cannes Film Festival. Kazakh films became recognized at the festivals. The moment when an outstanding Tonina Guerra, who worked with genius European film directors Fellini and Antonioni, gives you out a prize, it would be something unbelievable for anyone. Documentary film, it is heard an old tape cracking at sounds of harmonica. 1925, Kazalorda, capital of Kazakhia. Silent cinema hall. There is barely room to move and all eyes on the screen. A thin searchlight projects live pictures. It was first black and white documentary film. Anniversary of Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic. It was a standing ovation. On the white screen, there was a flashing film frame of God Forsaken Station, right in the middle of the step and there was an endless horizon ahead. In 1934, in Almaty, first studio of documentary was opened. And in 1939, first documentary film, Abangildi, was filmed. This much brutally handsome Yelubayo Murzakov will appear later. In this movie, according to the scenario of Bimbet Bet Mylan, he was spectator's favorite one. He made them feel like heroes, creating an illusion of racing across the step with him. Spectators of that time were really naive and they fell in love with these black and white pictures. Once the movie was ended, they lined up to get the tickets for the next film show. I pray God every single day to make Amangil Day stay alive. That time I didn't realize that it was acting. I thought it was real Amangil Day. It's been already two months since the war has started. Yelubay Mirzakov, a legendary Amangildi, along with concert team, has left to the front line. Later, on September 12, 1941, in Almaty, first feature film studio was opened. Mass film and land film, due to defense emergency, were evacuated to Almaty. Such film directors as Eisenstein, Budovkin, Valiev brothers, and such actors as Arlova, Cherkasov, Andreev, and Kruchkov. Many of the most film and land film directors memorized Almaty as a place of fertile climate and atmosphere of hospitality which was supportive and inspiring for creative work. There was absolutely wholesome surrounding, cultural and ethnical connection. During the war in Almaty, a lot of movies have been filmed and became classics of Soviet cinema. Battle of Tsaritsyn, Mashinka, Air Shafer, Actress, Secretary of Communist Party District, A Man from Our City, Katowski, and etc. That time, a Bai Songs movie was filmed. There is a unique picture of Grigory Vershal and Yelubay Omurzakov, which was captured during the filming of Golden Collection. In 1945, live classics came back to hometowns, Moscow and Leningrad. Production studio of Almaty inherited a technical base for the production of documentary and feature films. A central United production studio established a foundation of true professional and strong cinematic school. We definitely gave a lot to our artists. I mean, it meant a lot for both Shaken and Beglin. Shaken and Beglin. 
также и бегали, но дали они много. Communication, that is the point. I came here during the period of 1980s and still could feel the spirit of the old school, the older generation which had a chance to meet with Eisenstein and Giga Vertov. Mikhail Aranishev, Vyacheslav Levitsky and Pavel Zaltzman stayed in Almaty. They were sitting together in the small cinema hall of the film studio watched a Lady Jigid was chasing Aidar. She will catch up with him. The story has an ending which loved by the spectator. Nowadays we call it happy end. A whole generation was brought up on such a true love and friendship in a nice imaginary village. Lady Jigid still holds sentimental value up to date and reminds us about the dreams that could come true. When spring knocks on your window, let it in. This is a line from a song of an amazing Bibigul to Legenova. The fresh smell of the blossoming apple trees rushed into the cracked windows. White petals were spinning in the camera lens. The horizon was within reach. A man was walking right on its edge. That was Shekhen Imanov. Film studio was named after him. It still fills Imanov's spirit in the studio, which reminds about happy and kind people of the Our Lovely Doctor movie. Extremely cheerful people. He gave you a sensation of the city and made you look at city streets and people in a new way. You can't stop watching this movie. Some of the movie episodes are remembered since the childhood such as really lovely Pomerantsev and Sergei Baev with his changeless Figaro and of course brilliant Chicken Imanov as Petrusio. Musical comedy recently in Almaty, Our Lovely Doctor was restored and shown on gala evening, which was dedicated to 100th anniversary of Chicken Imanov. And once again, the film is on and we're looking at the screen that a magical illusion of happiness. Magic of Chicken Imanov, a significant and destiny of Kazakh film became Shaiken's movie, The End of Ataman, with Asanali Ashimov, which was filmed in 1970. The adventure movie, The End of Ataman, became a business card of the production studio for many years. That is a true world masterpiece. January didn't exist for him. He acted in a legendary movie, Kizhibek, when he was 33 years old, as he told it was Christ's age. Bekejan Asanli Ashimov is so magnificent and amazing in his passion to Zhebek and his death makes you feel sympathy and sour instead of satisfaction. In Paris we were told not to draw any attention when spectators just come and go. There were one and a half thousand people but no one left the show. Two episodes took three hours. The Iconic Kazakh epos Kizhibek, which was filmed by Sultan Hojikov and written by Gabit Musrepov. This is a triangle, three outstanding persons, Aymanov, Begalin and Hojikov. They gave us those values and vectors of development. Youth blows up set stereotypes, rushes into life's commonness and shows us new opportunities. This is what happened to the cinema. Young's time has come. That was a new wave of Kazakh cinema. It seemed like parallels with French. A new Kazakh cinema with European allusions. New Kazakh wave has designed a constellation of young Kazakh film director graduated in the early 1990s Sergei Solovyov workshop at GIG. It was a complex workshop with art directors and operators. Generally, it was a specific group of people. With the help of great teachers, we started filming really fast. Solovyov taught me what art direction and cinema are. Once it happened that we have achieved a success and showed the whole world our understanding of nationality, time and social position, somehow the needle film has appeared. An iconic movie. It was kind of revolutionary in blowing up mind of the whole generation. White snow, gray eyes, and the crackled and empty earth. That was a line of Victor Toy's song. It was a way to spend my certain time with my close friends. New names appeared. Seri Kaprimov, The Last Station. Ardak Amirkulov, Death of a Trar. 
Derijan um revive Kairat, a biker pick of a small fish in love, tell God to men of a wolfing among people, Amir Karakulov, rival in love, Amanjol Aituarov, contact, those directors displayed new Kazakh cinema. Life of Young Accordionist by Saken Narimbetov is worth to be marked. This is really poetic and interesting film. Directors got satisfaction with the fact that their movies became popular and discussed. All movies have successfully shown on the international festivals, the Grand Prix in Taormina, the Grand Prix in Tokyo, Moscow, Lechardno, Venice, and finally, cinematographic Olympus, can. Derejana Mirbaev's film, Cardiogram, has been on the screen for two months in France and Sato Baldinarimbetov's film, Life of Young Accordionist, has been awarded six prizes of Juris Sadol's Award of the French Academy. I remember that feeling and spirit that was very important for me and I still keep it in my heart. They showed accessible and plain for all cinema. Time is passing by and leaves nowhere. Nobody knows what will happen tomorrow, and only air is a melted and free silence. Later, this period of time will be called stagnation era. And nothing was happening, nothing at all. It seemed like everybody was gone. No poets, no musicians, and no artists. And no cinema. That was something passing on, needless and forgotten. Then there was a time of perestroika, a word which was associated with freedom all over again. Changes, song by Tsoi is rushing out the windows. In the corridors of the Kazo film, there was a crowd of intelligent young people discussing the volumes of the scenarios. Nomad stirred up Kazakhstani film process. Cinematographers believed that there was an opportunity to shoot a big movie. There was also technical equipment of the production studio Kazakh film. Kazakhstani specialists spent several months taking master classes under the conditions of Western management. World Film Society has noticed this project and the attitude to Kazakh cinema has changed. It was taken as a serious partner. This is how Nomad played an important role in formation of Kazakh culture. And then there was a concert types movie, events of early 18th century, during the critical era of Kazakh history, when Kazakhs were involved in a war with Jungars. Nation cohesiveness and heroism became a decisive force which finally helped to gain a liberty. Zhao Zhidek Minbala is a film which is based on historical events which took place during the war with the Jungars. Everyone who have watched the movie was full of patriotism and pride. There was always something about the history. There was a time of Golden Ord, Turks Kaganate and Scythians. It is really ancient and rich history. Kazakh view of life pants whole world. To replace lost and wilder generations, confident, ambitious and young people like director Farhad Sharipov came. He was the first who got to Hollywood and turned the page of the Kazakh cinema. He filmed a movie, The Tale of the Pink Bunny. The movie is about beloved of all Almaty and about confession to this lovely city. The storyline is as old as time. Hero goes through good and bad adventures, but the movie is fresh and young. There behind the horizon, surreal clouds are covering the grand surface. There is no rest, no silence. There is a shadow figure of a woman. She is wearing strange clothes. She is from nowhere, from night fantasy. It's an art house film named Colleen. This film affected, hurt, and even excited kind of indignation. This is how Yermek Tersunov rushed into the cinema world. His film became one of the best, and as well as Shal, with its fresh and simple shots. When people notice you in your film, this means that there is an interest and attention not only for a person, but to the country. I think that after Nurembet of a new wave, there was a wave of Ahad Satayev and Rustam Abdrashev. Clouds are drifting behind the horizon. He was watching the sky and saw cities and countries. It was the sky of his childhood. His name was Sultan, and he dreamed about the sky, but the fate decreed another way. The sky of my childhood as a film telling about the childhood of the president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. It was based on the memories without rights and wrongs, world epicenter in the center of Eurasia, the director's Rustem Abdrashev. 
This film is not just a portrait of a single person. I think it's a picture of the era through the particular person and his destiny. Breaking of the Vicious Cycle is a sequel of a three previous successful epic films, Way of the Leader. Thinking about drama events when the future president had to make a decision to build a Korea or to choose a fair truth, Nursultan Abishevich took the heat. And the phrase which he told that time, broke the vicious cycle, became a name of the final part of the epic, Boy of the Leader. In four years, we pass 45 years of human life. With production of this large-scale epic by Rustam Abdrashev, new fourth wave of Kazakh cinema and Kazakh film began. It is quite important when you produce something for your country and other continents, have an interest in your creation. This means a lot. This means that you become a personality in a cosmic meaning. Conceptual cinema of modern nomad, intercommunication of the cultures and understanding of yourself. Images of the remote past interfere into the artist's consciousness. He reflects, shocks and makes a discovery. He reconsider regular things, gives them a new shade and special national charm. Gaza film, conceptual film of nomads, reconsideration of regular realities.